Y'all, 2022 has been packed with good news, particularly regarding love and marriage, and in fact, we have several marriage and baby news to be delivered today. Speaking of delivery, did you know actress Park Shin Hee actually gave birth to her first son on the 31st of last month, in the loving arms of her husband Choi Tae Joon? The baby boy is apparently healthy and the couple has been happier than ever, with Park Shin Hee already uploading their first family item onto Instagram. Just look at these absolutely adorable matching Nike shoes and imagine Park Shin Hee, Choi Tae Joon, and their son wearing it together. We haven't seen any photos of the actress post-birth, but she must have been smiling widely and cooing over her son while taking the photo. Another baby news may have to do with Sun Ye Jin's alleged pregnancy, which has been the talk of town ever since she married Hyun Bin in March. But it has recently become an actual hot topic following a series of photos published by the actress herself. In particular, Sun Ye Jin was wearing a loose baby doll dress that hides her figure, leading to netizens getting suspicious. On a discussion thread on the Korean news site Naver, a netizen zoomed in on what they said to be abnormal details in Sun Ye Jin's photos, like her hands covering the stomach area, and a supposed bump on the actress's tummy. Totally pregnant, they declared. Responding to this though, Sun Ye Jin's agency MS Team Entertainment has shut down all debates and called the assumption baseless. Other netizens also rolled their eyes at how impolite the pregnancy conspiracy sounded, explaining how the bump could have been a wrinkled part of the dress, and voicing out that Sun Yi Jin may feel offended to get all dressed up only to be said to have a protruding tummy. Okay, Sun Yi Jin's upcoming baby may be fake, but Yang Nara's upcoming wedding totally isn't. Remember how everyone was lamenting on how actress Yang Nara, the star of Sell Your Haunted House, The Last Empress, and Go Back Couple, is still single in her 40s? Turns out, she has been dating for ages already, and recently announced that she's marrying a man six years younger. The actress also revealed that she's preparing for a fun project right after the wedding, so fans of Yang Nara are going to have a lot to look forward to. In the face of Yang Nara's wedding, however, netizens are bringing up Kim Nam Gil, and the past dating and marriage rumors between him and Yang Nara. The actor woke up to news of him and Yang Nara having dated for seven years and planning to marry, and his shocked face may be the exact one Yang Nara fans are having right now. All the best to the upcoming husband and wife, and salute to Kim Nam Gil who is still allegedly single. Okay, that's quite the number of nice news, but I have to say, negativity is also filling up the K-drama world. As we are getting into the first week of June, June K-dramas are flooding up our time, including Sale Yeji's latest return in the TVN's drama Eve, following the gaslighting scandal that almost left her career in ruins. Here, the cunning and lethally alluring performance of Sale Ye Ji is blowing her fans away, and gaining ample attention among the Korean public, albeit not for the most positive reason. First of all, right from the first episode, Eve featured an explicit scene between Sale Ye Ji and actor Lee Ha Joon, which is deemed to be too much for the Korean small screen. In particular, many netizens are calling the scene cheesy with awkward production, to the point they turned off their TVs. Others also complained that the acting was weird, and even suspected that Sale Ye Ji had to opt for such cheap work since she couldn't have waited for any better ones. They also lamented that having characters going at it while at the backstage of a show for kindergartners was gimmicky and left a sour taste. International audiences, however, had a completely different reaction and are currently showering Sale Ye Ji with praises while defending that the scene is necessary to reflect the tone of the drama and help advance its plot. In addition though, Korean netizens are scrutinizing Eve for possibly the dumbest reason I have ever heard, the age gap between the 28-year-old female lead, and the 41-year-old make lead. To them, 13 years apart between completely mature adults proved to be problematic, and men in their 40s just won't fall for women in their 20s. To which, international viewers are rolling their eyes. For once, the age gap is between perfectly consenting adults, they said, and for two, there are plenty of old men lusting for younger women. Which side do you agree with? Korean or international? Okay, that's one June drama drowned in criticism, now let's move on to Alchemy of Souls, which is also finding itself at the end of netizens' ire. In particular, the series, which starred Lee Jae-wook, Jung So-min, Wang Min-hyun, and the idol actress Arin has made headlines for being the first Korean historical drama to boast modern hairstyles. The series, which is penned by the writer of Hotel Del Lunar and directed by the people behind What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, is a fantasy K-drama set in a mythical version of ancient Korea, 
where there's heavenly spirits, magic, almighty ghosts, and a lot of action. The series was supposed to pique interest from the general audiences, but for now, have only received question marks. In particular, the characters played by Wang Min Hyun and Arin, were sporting modern hairstyles instead of traditional ones. Wang Min Yun, for example, has his hair short with bangs, while Aaron's hair was long, and flowy, with a headpiece that seemed like she came straight from a K-pop performance. However, after the recent premiere, all eyes were on the cast's questionable hairstyles, people said, while comparing the hair with Lee Jae-wook's more decent one. In addition, from teaser photos, a blonde man was also spotted as part of the cast, making netizens wonder if Alchemy of Souls was set in an alternate Korea where there were hair salons in the olden times. Are these styles a yay or a nay for you? Contrary to the sad fates of early June K-dramas, the April series My Liberation Notes, which recently ended, has managed a huge achievement, its finale defeated the madly popular Netflix original Stranger Things season 4, to top Netflix charts in Korea. This is an extremely rare accomplishment, considering that according to the Netflix analysis site Flex Patrol, the fourth season of Stranger Things took first place in the TV category of all Netflix's service countries, except for Korea. The only thing blocking its path was my liberation notes, an unexpected dark horse on the K-drama race, with viewership ratings tripling over its air. My Liberation Notes, which shares the same screenwriter with my mister, has struck a chord with many viewers for its realistic and extremely relatable portrayal of modern society, in addition to various meaningful messages, and a healthy central relationship. The ending, while left hanging, was satisfying enough for viewers, and liberating enough for the characters, and this daily beauty was what made the series come out on top, even against such huge competition. Finally, let's end today's news with the return of Lee Na Eun, who was a former K-pop idol under the group April, and appeared in a teen and extraordinary U. Previously, she was accused of bullying and ostracizing former April member Hyun Ju, and thus was almost cancelled in the public's eyes. Her company refuted the claims, but to no avail, and Na Eun found herself kicked out of Taxi Driver, which later became madly successful. Anyhow, Lee Na Eun is making her way back to the industry, having signed with the talent agency Nam Moo Actors despite her ongoing controversies. Not long ago, the CEO of the company followed her on Instagram, and later issued an official statement that she would join their company. However, as Nam Moo Actors is home to various famous artists, like Lee Joon Ki and Song Kong, people couldn't help but wonder what the heck Lee Na Eun was doing there. According to them, the actress was as stiff as a brick in her previous drama roles, had no prospects for the future, and hasn't been cleared from her bullying allegations. This makes absolutely no sense, a netizen said, while others agreed and said that Nam Moo is heading to its doom. Still, there are fans anticipating Lee Na Eun's return and defending that the bullying accusations were mere fabrications. Do you wish for Lee Na Eun's comeback, or should she remain cancelled? And that's all the news for this week. Let us know your thoughts about all of them in the comment section. And, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Babali Drama for more interesting contents. See ya!